Hi guys, I am Stuti and Abhi, the film that I will be reviewing is Sia. As a producer, Manish Mundra has given us a lot of gifts. Gems like Newton, Masan, Aakho Dekhi. Now, with his directorial debut, Sia, he once again proves that you don't need to shout to be heard. Sia is the heart-wrenching story of a 17-year-old girl and all that she has to endure in her fight for justice and to live a life of dignity. So the first time we set eyes on Sia, she is on her haunches out late night in the fields relieving herself. One can sense a slight fear on her face as she looks around trying to spot any lurking danger. The camera then follows her as she walks towards her house and we see her being this protective elder sister to her young brother. Sia is at ease when in charge. But sadly, the world that she inhabits continues to disenfranchise her and her dreams. Manish Mundra, Heather Rizvi and Sama ki likhi hui is kahani ki biggest strength pata hai kya hai? Ki sirf hume impress karne ke liye koi bahut bada statement nahi banana chahti. Na kham kha ka melodrama, na lecturing, na loud background score jo bar bar foreground mein aana chahe. Powerful people going scot-free even after committing the most heinous of crimes is something we've seen so often that we've almost become immune to it. But Sia, the film, makes us care by showing us all that is at stake. Rafi Mahmood and Subhranshu Kumar Das's camera isn't intrusive. It lingers just long enough for us to soak in the details. But it's the performances that draw us closer. I'm so impressed by Pooja Pandey. You know, she has this quiet resolve about her and she's staggeringly good. Stoic in her grief and vulnerable in her loneliness. Some of the scenes of violence and torture are so difficult to watch that you don't want to look away. Nahi dekha jayega. But unka hold on her performance is so strong that you can't help but invest. Next, we have the reassuring presence of Vineet Kumar Singh. Kirdar ka naam hai Mahindra Babu. And he's so good, you know, refusing to be cowed down and he resolutely takes on the perpetrators. His performance is heartfelt and earnest. The terrific ensemble cast only makes this film richer. This film is less than two hours and yet it never feels rushed. It shows us the ugly face of power and the atrocities heaped on women and unsuspecting citizens but never tries to hijack the narrative in doing so. It remains a touching and poignant tale of a young girl's spirited fight to break free from the cycle of pain and injustice. A film, therefore, we must see and support with all our heart.